welcome to my channel. I am Andrea and this is Beyond the Pink Door and this is week 27 of my weekly sewing vlog and thank you all for joining me on the uh, Sunday Lives. Me and Karis are having a ball doing those and we're going to have another one this week as well and uh, welcome to all new subscribers as well recently and if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed just yet yeah, think about it hit the subscribe button and if you are a subscriber and you haven't been getting notifications about my videos because a lot of people have actually said that recently um youtube don't send you an email now to say that somebody you subscribe to has uploaded a new video so hit the notification bell it's somewhere along the top here and then you'll get a notification to your phone to say that a new video has been uploaded so that's the admin done out of the way so i'm in my sewing room again today and i've been sewing this week which has been great I've had three weeks of no sewing and some of it really has been down to just being too busy but this week I've been just so inspired by all the sewing chat on the Sunday lives that I just had to cut off a few pieces of fabric pop them into the washing machine and prepare for a few bits of sewing so I have some really good successes and then I have some mm, semi fails so I had yeah I had a a major a major cock up this week really and it's just something that I've not done before <laughs> so there's a first for every cock up so I've been very I've been really spoiling myself lately by having sheets printed from plan printing 24 and here's this week's sheets I had 20 sheets which are 10 patterns printed for 24 pounds and I just think that's amazing that includes postage and everything they're so fast so plan printing 24 so I had a load of patterns printed and one of them was the seamwork Astoria and it's just so lovely to actually cut out a pattern from a sheet rather than stick it together and I'm not one that shies from sticking them together I really don't mind that because I love buying PDFs when I really want to pattern quickly and I want to stick it together and I want to go making it but I I'm kind of not I'm not as impatient <laughs> like that anymore but we had been talking about the sew over it heather dress a lot on the lives and I'd seen loads of them popping up and I know the pattern is a couple of years old and I bought it definitely more than a year ago I printed it out but I never actually got to stuck it, stick it together so during the week I stuck it all together and I cut fabrics popped them in the washing machine made a few plans it was great and I find when I do that and I decide what I'm going to make with what fabric, then that sort of eggs me on. Sometimes the planning actually, that's, yeah, it slows me up. So anyway, getting on to the catastrophe. I stuck all the pattern together, laid it out on the fabric, cut the fabric out, washed it, laid it all out, cut out the whole dress. And as I laid it out, I thought it looked quite small. So I put my measuring tape up against it, <laughs> measured my hips as according to the dress, had a look at the finished measurements and they didn't match up. So I thought, oh, what did I actually do? I knew I'd cut out the 10 and I know from the chat on the lives that it kind of comes up a little bit big, especially around the hips. So I thought, well, it actually shouldn't be. And then I had, <laughs> I had like a cloud burst in my head and I thought, oh, I wonder, did the pattern print out to scale because I remember last year I did have a few cock-ups with patterns not printing to scale so I went to the bin and I pulled out <laughs> the test square which I hadn't measured and my 10 centimeter test square was actually 9 which of course meant that my entire pattern was 10 centimeters 10 percent smaller so I'm wearing the disaster <laughs> I was determined to sew it together so it has a five eighths of an inch seam allowance so I literally sewed it on the edge and it's on <laughs> but it's not great it's a very tight fitting dress I'll stand up and show you now it could have been a lot worse if I had actually sewn it with the seam allowance I probably wouldn't have gone back and unpicked it because there's no unpicking stretch stitches but I did sew it with a zigzag stitch so the pockets are up higher, of course, because as long as well as being narrower, it's also shorter. 
so the waist is in a bit of a strange place. I will say though that I'm really impressed with the fabric because it's actually quite stretched and it's got a black background but it hasn't turned white. I expected it to turn white across the bust and across the bum but it actually hasn't so I'm very impressed with the fabric. So yeah it's a lot more fitted than I'd like. So it's it's wearable and if I pop a cardigan over it, it's actually really nice. And I like the fabric, but it's a funny old shape now because the waist is a bit weird. And I've actually taken it in around the waist, but it's just, yeah, it's a strange, it's a strange dress. <laughs> and I had a lovely plan to make a cardigan from this lovely faux angora to go with it, which I will still do because I really like this fabric and I think it's really gorgeous with this um but yeah if I put a cardigan on it's actually it's okay I feel it's not a sh it's not a fit <laughs> that I like but yeah it's okay it's all right so always test <laughs> your test squares um yeah it it could have been worse I did think though that if it was a complete and utter mess that I could make it to fit Karis anyway, even though it's not really her style, but it wouldn't have been to waste. But yeah, I think I think I saved uh, a catastrophe, really, to be perfectly honest. So yeah, I will wear it and it's lovely, lovely fabric. I also have it in the shop in an army green and a colour called Cerise, but it's more of burgundy, I suppose. And <laughs> so that's the sew over at Heather dress. I'm going to send it to be printed and I'm definitely going to revisit the dress, definitely. I found the pockets a bit of a faff, but that's because I was trying to work with a different seam allowance. So yeah, that was that. But I am, I printed out the Astoria pattern and I made it out of a very small remnant because I love this fabric and I didn't nab a bit quick enough for myself. I'm actually going to pop it on with the other make that I want to tell you about. So this is the Seamwork Astoria jumper and it's made out of the smallest remnant I had of this fabric because I really like this fabric. Now unfortunately I have ended up with two flower boobs but it's just the way that it seems to go for me even though I planned where to put it and I wanted this here in the center. I just yeah anyway we'll get over that. It's such beautiful fabric. I think I had 60 centimeters of this fabric and I squeezed it out. Now only because it's such a cropped little top but if you do have remnants uh, I couldn't believe I could make it out of that and I'm wearing it with the Nina Lee Camden skirt so I've made another one of these this week. I've lined this one in this lovely cotton poplin and I filmed it so I'll have a sew, up, sew along up this week and I've made it out of this lovely denim that I got into the shop during the week and it's really really nice there's a little stretch to it and it's lovely I'm in the tights and I know I'm gonna get loads and loads of wear out of this skirt so I can't wait to edit that now and have it up online and I've loads of lovely corduroys coming in during the week, so I'm definitely going to make some more. I have some patterned cords and I have some plain cords. So I'm just loving, loving this skirt at the moment. And I've also cut another piece of fabric to make another Astoria because I love this fabric. <laughs> so I have this ready. I'm going to make that one with proper length sleeves. I was only able to get short sleeves out of this because of it was such a little remnant. So yeah, I'm, I'm delighted. I have my sewing mojo back and I'm loving all the new fabrics that I get to use. So um, yeah, two lovely successes. One almost fail. It wasn't a bad week. And I'm, yeah, I'm definitely going to cut a piece of this actually before it's gone. Oh, that's really nice with that as well. Mm. So <laughs> I do love matching fabrics up together when they all come in. I have a few, well actually I have a load of new patterns in the shop so I'm just going to show you a few that I've pulled out for myself. So I mean 
I haven't made the wilder gown yet. <laughs> Can you believe it? And it's so gorgeous and I'm dying to make one. I think I'm going to make the one that just has the tear to here because I think the, the whole dress might drown me. I, I'm not quite sure. Has anybody of five foot actually made the full length? I love the neckline of it. I love the way it pulls in or you can leave it open. So I don't know, what do you think? I'm thinking of making it in this small little print. This came in during the week in this lovely teal color. I'm just gonna bring the camera a bit closer so I don't have to stretch. Um, I thought this would be lovely. It's got a little dot of yellow in it. Again, something else I can wear my ochre cardigan with. Um, and it's lovely and light, but I think it'd be lovely with tights and a cardigan. And so I think that little print would be really, really nice. Uh, so that's, that's a plan. I've read the instructions. It looks like a lovely, lovely make. And I've also got this dress. So I've got in a load of deer and doe patterns. And I think they're amazing. They're only 14 euro a pattern. And that's really, really good, isn't it? And the pattern paper is amazing. The instructions are fabulous. And I love this because it's only got one, two, three, three pattern pieces and a facing. So the front actually has no shaping. All the shaping is done on the back and it's got a grown on sleeve. So there's no faffing with putting in sleeves and it's just got a facing. So I think it's a really great dress for an absolute beginner. It'd be absolutely brilliant. You'd learn so much on that. It's got a little patch pocket on the front. Wouldn't be my cup of tea, but I think I'm, I'd am i love to try it because it just looks so, so simple. And it would be lovely over tights, leggings, uh, cardigan, be gorgeous. And I got this lovely tulips, viscose twill in again during the week. So again, this was another fabric I was dying to get for myself the first time around and I missed it. <laughs> and I just think this in the Aurum, I think it's called the Aurum, it would be just lovely and cosy. So I think that would be really, really nice. I'm loving fabrics with black backgrounds at the moment as well. And there's just a coziness to a twill. So I really, really like this. And again, I have a red cardigan. I've got a black cardigan. Yeah, I think this would be really lovely. So I'm dying to try that, that pattern as well. And there's another pattern that just completely went off my radar. And it is this. And I think this is gorgeous and looks really lovely and cozy. I love the fact that it's got elastic in the middle and it's got elastic on the top. So it's really, really easy to get on and off. And it's got elastic around the cuffs as well. So this is definitely a secret pyjama. So has anybody got any experience in making that? I've never seen it before, never noticed it. Just saw it when I was doing a pattern order and I thought, yeah, I really like the look of that. So I was thinking of this fabric here, which came in during the week. And it's got a dark navy, French navy? a hint of purple navy background and all these lovely colours on it and I just thought that would be really lovely in that. I thought that would be really really nice so it's an all over pattern but it's not going to look overly patterned. Now it's lovely in the plain but I think I'd prefer it in a pattern and there's some really pretty colours in this. So a lovely little, my little Lulu cardigan would be lovely with it. Um, I would love to make a pale pink cardigan as well. I feel I'm rooting for a pale pink in the wardrobe. Or the Angora would actually be nice with it too. That works as well. That's really lovely. I like that. So yeah, a few, I have a few plans and spoiling myself with proper patterns, <laughs> as in, rather than sticking them together and PDFing and all of that. So yeah, the highs and the lows of sewing, that's about it, isn't it? Um, I have also filmed my August and September makes <laughs> uh, 
and I know there the if I do an October makes a video it's going to be very very short because I haven't made an awful lot um, so I'm going to have that up as well soon so there's yeah, there's loads going on, loads going on in my head now for plenty of sewing and we're in a six week level five lockdown here in Ireland. So we are basically, um, yeah, we're basically stuck in our homes as such, apart from being able to um, exercise, exercise within five kilometres. So the only outing is going to be the trip to Aldi. So I'm going to Aldi today and I feel I've dressed. Um, this is a real cute top. I feel, yeah, I'm dressing up a little bit more to go out now, whereas before I would have just, you know, slapped on anything to go to Aldi. <laughs> but now, but now it's like a, yeah, it's a little trip out. It's a little day trip. And so, yeah, I really love this top. So if you haven't tried the Astoria, I would definitely recommend it. There's going to be a lot more of them made by me. I'm going to make a little black one as well so that I can wear it over some of my summer dresses that have like black backgrounds. I think that would be nice. And the fact that it has the band here just sits really nicely. And I think that's just a perfect length for me. And yeah, so that's it. So I will see you all in the next live. I'm really looking forward to doing that. And yeah, thanks ever so much for watching and listening to me. And I will see you all very soon.